Hi, today we're looking at hollyhocks and how to prune the hollyhocks. So this is a hollyhock flower and it's also called Elsia rosa or mallow rose because the resemblance of a rose flower. And these tend to grow up long spikes and they can grow up to nine foot tall which provides great height in a cottage garden. So hollyhocks are biperennial or short-lived perennial and they grow in the first year growing the greenery and then in the second year they grow the stems and the flowers. Native to Europe but grown all over the world and they come in various colours, pinks, whites, yellows, creams and a variety of different colours. The gorgeous flowers are great for pollinators, for the bees and the butterflies. They just love them. Hollyhocks have been grown for many centuries and also been used in medicinal purposes. Hollyhocks are unusual because they're arranged up a long stem and then they flower all the way along. But if we don't want this to self seed, once the flowers are done, it's a good time to give it a prune. So once your hollyhock is flowered, if you want to leave the seeds on for it to self seed, then just leave the stems as they are. But if you want to avoid them self seeding, then we just follow the stem right down to the bottom and we take our clips and we cut right down the bottom there just like that and now this is going to send up lots of new growth around leave the growth there that will protect the plant over winter and then it will regrow the following year So if you are saving the seeds, you wait for the buds to go totally dry, they go all brown, you could just snap them off and then save the seeds, keep them for another year. So let me know in the comments, have you grown hollyhocks? What colours have you grown? Have you got a cottage garden? Do you like growing your hollyhocks in? They're amazing! Look at the height of these, they are so tall. Definitely on my list for next year. Cheers!